Welcome, and today I'm going to show you about um, how to create a simple application or sample application using Android Studio with um, several steps over there. So, um, for the first time when you open Android Studio, you're going to see this welcome screen, okay, a welcome windows. Then there are two things um, you have this tab is the recently uh, open projects, and this one is a quick start. From here, you have a start new, open existing, import Android, so on, so forth. Okay, and we're going to click on this one for creating new Android project. And we're going to name this one, let's say we're going to name Hello World. Okay, Hello World um, um, application. Then, um, next point we need to uh, consider is this one is the name of the application only. Um, you can name it this way, it's fine. Hello World. Then, then the company domain this one is important because because um, let's say um, each of your application okay each of your application is going to be specified by a package name okay and this is the package name package name okay and this package name is here this package name is here and this package name is actually built up from your um, company domain adding the name of the application and that package name and this package name must be in the form of URI um, universal resource identifier okay and it must be unique universally okay it must be unique um, um, all over the world so uh, normally normally uh, this one is in form of the domain of your company and the name of your application of your company and um, once more this one is um, when you upload this one on Google Play okay, if you upload this game on Google Play okay this package must be unique okay must be unique and this package name is gonna be used in another situation let's say okay you have an app over here okay and it has some activity or some data over here okay then you have another app okay and this app would like to access to the information of this app or this app would like to interact with this app it's going to use the uri of this app okay and that uri is specified from this okay so that one is normally you should give the domain name, uh, domain name of your company um for, for this package and uh, this link okay this link is this link is how to say the um, um physical photos of your project inside your computer okay this is the physical photo you can change this one if you want to then we're gonna do next okay these are several of the options you can develop for phone and tablet you can develop for television you can look for wear or glass okay and i have an installed glass there uh, today we're going to focus on developing for phone and tablet okay, phone and tablet and when we develop, develop for phone and tablet there is an important feature which is you are able to select the minimum SDK or software development kits so uh, if we look at this one okay so it's gonna show us several things okay you have API API 1, then Android 1, so on and so forth. And my latest one is now API 21. It's Android 5.0 for Lollipop. Okay. Lollipop. Then let's just explain about this a little bit. What does it mean there? So it is about like this. So we have two concepts over there. The first one is the Android version. Okay. Android operating system version. Okay, Android operating system version, which is the operating system which is operating, um, um, running in your um, 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 hardware device and controlling your hardware device. And there is another term which is Android SDK software development kits. Okay, and this one is API or it's a library. Okay, this one is a library okay, used to develop Android application. Okay, used to develop Android application and normally your Android this one okay this one is used to develop Android application this one is used to develop Android applications okay used to develop Android applications okay 
then uh, this one is um, you to uh, run and operate um, hardware okay and it is the GUI for um, user okay it's a good for user to use the hardware devices okay then then uh, normally normally um, in order to um, this operating system is also able to run your um, application developed by 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 this Android SDK. So normally the Android version will have a library, okay, a version of this SDK inside it to to run the uh, application that we develop by this SDK inside it. Then we have something like this. So if you look at this one, you'll see that for uh, API number one or the library version number one, it is running in Android number 1.0. API number two is running in Android 1.1. API number three is running in one um, Android version, uh, operating system version 1.5. And I start naming it as Cupcake. Okay. Android number, um, API number four or the SDK number four is running in Android um, 1.6 donut okay, so on and so forth and right now you'll see the latest one all the way down API number 21 is running in Android 5.0 okay Android operating system 5.0 so you're going to have like Android version number one running API number one okay all the way down to Android 21 is running in sorry this one Android number five okay uh, Android operating system number five is running API number twenty one. Okay, and what is the API version between the twenty one and the one? Of course, uh, from the twenty one you have more features. Okay, from the twenty one you have more features. Okay, from the twenty one you have more features. So if you develop an app A, okay, if you develop an app A which is to run in Okay, the API um, number 21. And if user has a phone, let's say if user has a phone, that one is running um, the, the sorry, um, running the um, Android 2.2. Okay, and this one is, is running the API number 8. Okay, now if user has a phone with Android operating system 2.2 and you develop an application A running for this um, targeting for this or um, um, using this 21 API then if you want to run it here okay it's not gonna work okay it's not gonna work it's not gonna work here because this one has more features and you use more features comparing to the 8 and you take that one running here okay those features are not gonna work so normally Android application allows you to select a range of applications, a range of API that the app supports. Let's say it's going to select from 8 to 21. Okay, so it supports the range of API. Okay, so this application A is supporting for the range of 8, 9, 10, up until 21. Okay, but if you use this range large enough, then uh, the maximum features you can use for this is the feature coming from the version number eight okay because it must be able to run in the eight so it's the maximum version that uh, the, the 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 api features that you can use is coming from number eight only otherwise it's not going to work with number eight right so so um in this case you know you can cover lastly many devices okay but you lose some features Okay, but you lose some features. Let's say new feature from 21 you cannot use. You have to use feature of the version number 8 only. Okay, so um, Android has a good, Android Studio has a good tools to support you to choose this one. Let's say if I choose um, um, uh, number 8, let's say, and it's showing us that it, it, it's now approximately, okay, cover 100% of all devices. How do I know? If you click on this one, okay, okay. if you click on this one, you'll see, okay, this one is a good statistic over here. This one is a good statistic over here. It's gonna show us, <coughs> it's gonna show us now, it's, it's showing us now the statistics, okay. So if you choose 21 up until the version number 8, we are covering 
we are covering 99.3 percent of the devices in the world okay so it's 21 19 18 17 16 so on so on. this will cover 99 percent of the devices okay that uh, in the world okay so uh, if you run 8 10 um, um, 15 16 17 all of them okay you're gonna sum up until 99 if you choose only let's say from 17 to 21 you are covering only 32 percent of the devices in the world because only 32 percent of the devices are running this devices uh, this is a um, api version so again it depends on your it depends on your target devices okay you can choose number of uh, and, and special features that you can choose so i think we're going to choose up until number 15 is good enough okay or number 10 okay uh, up to you you can choose from number eight okay number eight to cover all the dev devices but you lose some features or you can choose 6, 15 so you cover 78 percent okay but you lose some features okay but if you choose until this one 99 feature percent but you know uh, you lose a lot of feature because you can use only the features coming from version number eight okay so let's just choose number eight then okay so i can cover one almost like 100 percent of my devices okay then we're gonna do next okay we're gonna do next um this one is to choose a uh, activity okay okay um and uh, there are several kinds of activities so first what is an activity activity is just like a screen okay just like a screen or like a windows that fill up the whole that fill up the whole how to say okay, fill up the whole um, um screen of the device okay so in our application normally you know it's going to consist of several of the activities like activities for menu activities for um the um, um app activities for so on so forth okay then we're going to uh, for the help the app the game let's say the high score each one of them gonna have an activity uh, so on so forth then we're gonna choose a blank activity so there is one different activities over there next and when we do an activity there are several things okay so normally normally in android application okay we have two bad okay one is for the gui okay or the presentations Okay, the presentation, three parts, three main parts. The first one is the GUI of presentation. Okay, then this this one on drive, GUI of presentation. The presentation is to develop something like, okay, the activity from the activity, you're going to have a label, then a text sphere, then another label, then another text sphere. Okay, the presentation is to code the graphical user interface like this, okay, and a button. Okay, then there is another part inside this one, which is, you know, the code, okay, the code behind. So uh, there is another part for it, which is we have the code behind, okay, we have the code behind, okay. This one is a code or the business processing part of the code behind. Okay, if you're familiar with um, some kind of programming language is like Java server face or ASP.NET, it is code behind. So this one is written in, okay, this one is a part for code behind. And this one is written in C sharp code. Sorry, uh, this one is Java code. Okay, Java code. Okay, so this one is for business processing. Let's say if you click save, it's gonna come to a method over here. It's got the data from here, got the data from here in, okay. Yeah, get the data from here, get the data from here in when you call this method, then it's going to do the business processing, save the thing to the database and so forth. Okay, so this one is for business processing or the code behind. Then there is another part inside here. Okay, there is another part inside here, which is the normally the activity going to have a menu. Okay, a menu. Okay, so if you click on this three dot thing, it's gonna pull up a menu to show into to do something okay okay and you know this one is written in java um, this one is actually written in can be written in can be written in java code too for the graphical user interface but most of the time android going to um, 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 uh, uh, have which is called a layout file uh, okay this layout file is written inside xml 
Okay, to coach is okay. So this um um GUI presentation or presentation is normally um written in XML file for uh, presentation, and um the same okay, uh, the uh the menu is also written in XML file. Okay, the menu is also written in XML file. Uh, those are the components of one activity. So um, you can see from this one. So this is the name of the activity. Let's say I'm gonna name it as Hello World. Okay, this is name of Java name, the, the um, name for the Java class of the activity. And here the layout name is the XML file for us to um, code. Okay, for XML for us to code the um, the the, the um, layout or the graphical user interface of or the um, presentation um, component, and normally this one is a word. Okay, it's gonna separate another word by the capitalized letter, so Android student won't know how to separate them into two words. Okay, and add automatically the um, word activity over there. Then here is the title. You know, it's similar to this one. This title of the Windows. So we're going to separate this one into Hello World, and then Menu Results Name. This one is Menu Hello World. So this one is XML file for the menu. The Hello World. The um, um, this one is Java file. This one is the um, layout file, and this one is the um, um, menu file. Okay. So we're going to do finish here, okay? Finish here. Okay. Then when we finish, okay, when we finish, Android Studio is going to show us this one. Okay, and you can look at the design screen. Okay, you can look at the design screen. We I'm gonna show you several of the main components of the application um, uh, in in the next video. But in this video, I'm gonna focus on just how to create a sample application. Then, then um, the only thing is I'm gonna show you that. Okay, in our Android application, in our Android application, we're going to have the main part is the Java code, which is this is our package name. Okay, then if you open it, this one is our hello world. Okay, this one is Java class. Okay, it is Java class. It it extends the um, accent bar activity. Okay, then uh, another folder is is this is Java. This Java class is this one. Okay, the Java code behind. Then for business processing, written in Java code. Then another one is in results, which is our um, um, file for the um, graphical user interface. Okay, building this graphical interface, and it is actually um, XML file. This is XML file. So it's um, inside the results layout, and it is here. Okay, activity hello world dot. XML and there is another file that inside the component that we, we inside the um, three file that we created it is a menu okay this one is also XML file okay so the three main component is the hello world is code behind the activity hello world this one is for the designing of the graphical user interface okay graphical user interface you don't see this one okay and by default it has a hello world over here then um, um the third one is the menu okay it's also written in xml in the next video i want to show you a tour about you know um, android studio and then um, i want to show you how to um, run this application okay in the next video